But it doesn't unravel. Why is it not unraveling? That's not what I expected. Everybody, welcome to Emily Kate Made This Vlogmas Edition, day 22. I realised I hadn't recorded anything yet, so I thought I would pop in. I've just done the deed, the dreaded deed. I'm a little bit ridiculously close to this camera so you can't see. The jumper is no more. Well, technically, it is still in existence, but separated. And I'm having a bit of a... <sighs> indecision moment. I measured it. I measured it now. I don't know why I didn't measure it before. It's 46 inches. Circumference. What is that? Where's my tape measure? Ugh, don't know where you are. There. Hundred and seventeen ish, hundred and seventeen centimeters, and he is actually one hundred centimeters at, at his broadest. <sighs> so, yeah, my little gauge calculation didn't go to plan. Obviously, the original gauge I think was eighteen stitches in ten centimeters, and I got twenty. So instead of doing whatever it was, size 4, I did size 5, for example. Obviously, <laughs> that was irrelevant. I could have just done the size I needed because that's a lot of inches or centimetres too much. So I'm now in a bit of a confused state because he's a male and males don't usually have a line <laughs> or waist shaping in their garments and if I keep this as it is it's gonna still be too big but if I bring it in it might look a bit weird like it like yeah men don't usually have waist shaping so I don't know if I could just decrease it a little bit on the side so that when it gets to his armpits it's smaller but I don't want it to look like a dress <laughs> I don't know but I was thinking about it yesterday because my mum's not really going to fit in this because the shoulders, one of the big reasons it doesn't fit my husband who has big shoulders is that the shoulders were too big. So it's not going to fit my mum who basically has the same frame as me up here. She's curvier the rest of the way down but she has very uh, narrow shoulders like me. So that was just never, never going to go around her. It would just look too big and unflattering. So now my decision is whether I knit it like an A-line and then if it does look too feminine then I can maybe give it to her or if he's alright with it give it to him. So now that I'm talking it over maybe it's not such a bad idea because if I do do it like that someone's going to get it regardless. Yes, thank you for listening. <laughs> Thanks for helping out. So that's the plan. I. I'm not sure if I've inserted the clip already or if I will do it later, but I thought that I... I looked up a YouTube yesterday on how to separate these two pieces of knitting and I thought I'd remembered it. So this morning I just cut into my knitting thinking I could just unravel it and I feel like I just completely forgot the entire video that I watched less than 12 hours before because you can't do that. You can't undo the knitting like that. So I had to have my... Um, both, I had to have this one with the security line or whatever I've called it, whatever it is, thread, and then a gap, like a knit row in between, and then another row, and then you can cut and individually pluck out each singular stitch. And I didn't do the second row with the knitting needles. I just did one and it unraveled upwards instead of sideways. Obviously. Obviously. But I didn't think about that. 
So I did actually look on YouTube and someone just did this and snipped and just pulled it apart. But of course it's me and it's my jumper. And it doesn't. It doesn't unravel. Ugh. <laughs> Obviously I need to Google and YouTube a lot more than once before I decide to cut my knitting. Ugh. It's just becoming like a, a game show now with this sweater. Like what bizarre thing will I do next with it? But yeah, now that I've talked with you, I've decided that's what I'm gonna do. So now I have to figure out if I can unravel this or if I have to individually do it, each stitch by stitch, because that's not gonna happen. Not now anyway. I also am a bit confused on how to reverse engineer a raglan. So I might knit it down, top down, and then graph them. Because I was originally thinking, I don't care if the stitches face the wrong way, I'll just do it up. But I don't know how to do a raglan. Raglan from bot little little a raglan from bottom up. And when I've looked at it online, I'm not getting results. So yeah, I haven't got anything else to say really. That's all I've been doing knit-wise. I realise that I often say that's all I've done today, making it sound like I didn't do like anything the rest of the day. But I'm usually re meaning in regards to knitting or something recordable to show you. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go now. See you later. Hello again. Just wanted to update you. Fun fact. It does actually work, you won't be able to see this at all, but I was worried that changing the direction of my knitting was going to cause a really weird difference between knitting top down and bottom up. Actually, you can't tell at all that I've changed direction, so happy days. Bad thing is I somehow managed, not only was I horrendously off my size, like, as I said, however many inches, Great memory, Emily. Um, what did I say? Six inches off, I think. But I'm also, my stitch number, my stitch count is off. So I actually need to reduce the amount of stitches on here to be, let's start that again. I should have, for size seven, a set amount of stitches. And I'm off of that by more. But I'm trying to reduce the size from the size 7 to a size 5, which means I have to reduce the amount of stitches by about 45. <laughs> which I'm trying to somehow distribute evenly and then equally do some as a line so that it doesn't become too long and then it also doesn't look like it goes. <laughs> that would be weird. I'm really not the most skilled at going off track. I like my instructions, I like to be told exactly what to do. Weirdly enough, I somehow went off of there. I'm curious if perhaps it's because of the extra stitches you cast on for under the arms that are still part of this, I don't know. But <laughs> that's where we're going. Also, a couple of you mentioned or said, like, just give it up, just like release it from your life. Yeah, a few of you said, just give up on it, it's not worth it, there's too much rage and stress put into this jumper. But weirdly enough, I don't actually feel hatred towards this jumper. I'm frustrated because I wanted it finished in time, but I don't hate it. There's only one knitting project that I despised, and that was the knitted baby cardigan that I did, because I had so much roaming out, I didn't like the yarn, I weirdly didn't like the colour, it frustrated me, which is really strange. <laughs> And 
I, I completely lost my knitting mojo with that. Like I didn't want to knit anything after that stupid cardigan. And my friend actually posted a picture of her baby in it a couple of days ago and I was like, oh, that cardigan, oh. <laughs> but this one does not make me want to give up knitting, so that's good. And also, I can't just leave it. Like, even last night, after putting it away and I was like, no, I'm gonna leave him. I went to bed and all I could think about was this jumper. Finally fell asleep and then I dreamt about all the different ways that I could turn this jumper into something else. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> I did think about turning it into a circular yoke, but I'm just going to try and reverse engineer it because I'm getting stressed <laughs> at the idea of trying to change it into a yoke from bottom up and bleh. but we'll see, who knows, anything can happen with this jumper, especially if my decreases don't go well. <laughs> anyway, that was my update and I will leave it there for now. Hello, just wanted to say thank you for watching and have a nice evening. It is, what is it, <laughs> 20 seconds, so just two more days till Christmas. So I hope you're all prepared. Oh, my ear pod is falling out. I hope you're all prepared and um, organized for the big day. 